<laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin. Look at these two bold heads. Look at these two bold heads, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the first clash for us when the Premier League kick starts again next season. The, the Premier League fixtures have been released, ladies and gentlemen, and there seems to be a lot of lot of hoo-ha, a lot of noise, a lot of chaos in the fan base. Some people are even saying, look, Enzo Mariska, brother, you're probably going to get the sack after the first five games. Look, all I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that honestly, these sort of things don't bother me one bit. The only reason I'm actually doing this video is how much it actually bothers others. The amount of noise this is making in social media, that's the only thing that's really triggered me to do this video. So without further ado, smash the like button, guys. Absolutely annihilate the like button. I'm going to react to uh, you know, how, how the fans are feeling in social media with our... Uh, Premier League fixtures that have been released. You know, I'm going to be focusing on three parts, really. The start, the Christmas period, and the end. I want to go through the entire list. Um, so, yeah, smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Make sure it's very important you smash the like button, guys. Let's get to 34,000 subscribers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, very first up, Manchester City. A lot of people are very annoyed. I mean... Oh, Enzo Maresca is not getting the opportunity to really settle into the Premier League. Look, there's no settling in. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Every game is going to be difficult. E everything, every patch of five games that the fans are seeing, they're arming and arming and they're very, very, you know, uh, concerned about it. Look, the bottom line is every single game in the Premier League is difficult. Even if you think there are a patch of games that you think yeah, that, that's a win. That's a winnable amount of fixtures right there. We can go on a bit of a streak. We can develop uh, our playing style and uh, perhaps get on a run. No, don't fool yourself. Nothing is easy. If anything, I actually don't mind having Manchester City first up. It actually reduces the fact that reduces the probability probability of us being complacent. I'm glad we've got Manchester City first up. But you know, knowing you know now, we're gonna we're gonna do our level best in the in the preseason and shape up for that first game because you best believe Manchester City they'll bring their game. If anything, to be honest, Manchester City in the in the last few seasons, especially in Pep era, they don't start that you know in a blockbuster manner. They you can catch them out in the early parts of the season. So this is a good opportunity for our players to start the season very seriously. No complacency. As soon as preseason starts, I want our players to be so focused. Every single preseason game is going to be looked at with a microscope. I know a lot of people be saying, "Oh, it's just preseason. It's just there for the fitness." No, of course it's just there for fitness. But we're not. We don't have the luxury to to just dilly dally around anymore. These players don't have the luxury to dilly dally around anymore. We have screwed around too much. We need to get back to the top, and it all starts from preseason. How your attitude is, how you apply yourself, how much chemistry can you build with the new manager, with the new style of football, with your with your you know squad, with your teammates, and with the new players that are potentially going to come through. It's it's all it all starts from the preseason, and that very first game. I don't want no excuses. Now I'm not saying I'm not expecting go out there and just absolutely beat. Uh, you know, Pep Guardiola's Man City, they're the reigning champions. No, of course, I'm not expecting that, nor am I going to say that. But I need to see a professional performance. I need to see it. And it's a match at Stamford Bridge. We're going to go through this uh, fixtures very, very soon. It's a match at Stamford Bridge. I I want to feel that we we can at least put up a fight. If we lose, let's lose with some dignity. But at a bare minimum, let's let's try and see if we can secure a draw. If not, let's go for the win. Don't want to start the next season with an expected loss notion. This expected loss notion needs to get out of our mindset. So let's see, let's see. So Chelsea will face Manchester City at Stamford Bridge at their as their first fixture of the 2024-25 Premier League season. Um, this is why I feel like it's very important as well that we do a lot of our transfer business before this particular fixture. I don't want 
I don't want us to be going into this fixture undercooked. I need us to be well drilled. I need the squad to be ready. I don't want to have a situation where we don't have a striker. We don't have a winger, this, that, the other. We're already not going to have Reese James for this particular match. In fact, the first three matches. So it's very important that we do our business nice and early. Now, these are the first five Premier League fixtures, ladies and gentlemen. Manchester City at home, Wolves away, Crystal Palace home, Bournemouth away, West Ham away. Three away fixtures in the first five games. Crystal Palace as well under Oliver Glasner. What's going to happen with Elise? Is he going to be a Chelsea player? Is he still going to be a Palace player? <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen during that uh, match. Away to Wolves. Um, who've just hi hijacked, apparently, Pedro Lima, if you guys are keeping up with all the news. Uh, that's not completely gone through yet, but looks like he's going to be joining Wolves. I'm not worried about that transfer, but, to, uh, you know, I don't even know if he's going to start for them. Um, away to Bournemouth, Dominic Solanke is Bournemouth. Away to West Ham under a new manager as well, and they're trying to do some business too. Look, all I'm going to say is every patch of five fixtures is going to look tough. In fact, apparently the fixtures in late October, early November is even more dangerous. It's looking crazily dangerous. It's got Arsenal, it's got Spurs, it's got a whole heap of madness happening there. Bottom line, nothing is easy. Not a single game is going to be easy. Now, this is the Christmas period and everyone's looking at this Christmas period and thinking, yeah, it's three points, three points galore, every single one of them. Don't fool yourself, mate. Honestly, do not fool yourself. If anything, Christmas period has, has been a bit of a thorn in our side for the past few seasons. This is where we crumble gargantually. Southampton away, Tottenham away, Brentford at home, Everton away, Fulham at home, and Ipswich away. There's a lot of away fixtures there. Four away fixtures during Christmas. You look at all of them and you think, Spurs the only one that should be a bit of a trouble. Everything else we should be we should be able to manage, but do not disregard. This is why I'm not I'm not paying no attention. Oh, this is where we are. One game at a time for me next season. One game at a time. I need to see how Enzo Maresca embeds the system, the new philosophy, the new style, and how the players can take in all of those information and and execute. For me, as I said, my honestly, if I'm being realistic, my realistic target is just make it to top six. The club needs to make top four. There's no two ways about that. The club is, is going to be in dire trouble if we don't make it into top four. But I can't put that type of pressure on Enzo Maresca, new manager. And whole heap of probably new players coming in. And, and the current players, it's it's a new style of football, man. It's a new way of playing football. It's going to take a bit of time. We need to be patient. We finally got a manager that that is going to bring some sort of philosophy, some sort of ide ideology to this football club. I, I expect at least top six. Anything above that is a bonus. Anything below that will be deemed as not good enough. If we end up finishing 10th, 11th, 12th, then that's a disaster. And in that case, probably Enzo Maresca needs to go. But I don't want to think about a situation where Enzo goes. Enzo Maresca, we cannot chop and change anymore. This is it. This is it. So for me, look, one game at a time, build the momentum and, and respect every single one of these Premier League teams because I'm telling you, they're all capable of beating us on an any given day. In fact, all of these teams, besides Ipswich, I haven't watched Ipswich play Chelsea uh, in recent times, but all of those teams, I've seen them beat Chelsea. All right? And in recent times as, as well, I've seen them beat Chelsea. So um, we have to be very, very humble. Last five games, hey, once again, the fan base, very, very, um, you know, feeling a feeling a bit nauseous, feeling a bit um, disgruntled. Chelsea versus Everton, Chelsea versus Liverpool, Newcastle, Chelsea, Chelsea, Man United, Forest, Chelsea. Look, I'm not going to lie. That's a very tough way to finish the season. But look, hopefully by then, by the end of the season, what we saw last season where everything started to click, hopefully by then 
we should have Enzo Mariska's football and the patterns of play to a some to a certain degree of of you know respectability. So by then, hopefully, all the players should have gelled. And next season, look, hopefully, you know, the injuries are going to be away from us. We're not going to be so unlucky with these injury situation that we had last season. Hopefully, next season, injuries are going to be kind to us. But yes, that is a tough way to finish. That is definitely a tough way to finish. But a couple of three home games there. Um, Everton, Liverpool, Man United. Liverpool will be different as well. Don't forget, Liverpool under a new manager. Uh, they'll get a whole heap of new players as well. So they will be interesting to watch what happens to them. But once again, with Man United, are they really going to improve uh, next season with, with Eric Ten Hag? Um, that, that's still a question mark. What type of transfer business they're going to do? That's a question mark as well. Look, by then, if we're in top four, I'm ecstatic. But if we are in and around fifth, sixth, I think that, that is the bare minimum expectation. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about all the fixtures. Um, this is just a quick review. Premier League fixture starts with Manchester City. Then don't forget there's a UEFA Conference League playoff. So it will get it'll be interesting. Looks like we are going to be participating in Conference League. It still doesn't look like when we're, we're going to be forfeiting that competition. So I guess these are the fixtures that will make it very interesting how we manage the Premier League. All of these UEFA Conference League matches in between. So as you know, we haven't really we haven't qualified for UEFA Conference League. We have to uh, we have to actually play in the playoffs to qualify uh, in the in the Conference League. Um, six didn't guarantee us because uh, Man United ended up getting the Europa League position, which then bumped everyone below, uh, which which means we are going to have to qualify for the Conference League. So it'll be very interesting how Enzo Maresca manages the squad, who's going to play the one against Manchester City, who's going to start in the Conference League, who then will feature away to Wolves. Uh, and then straight after that, who's going to play in the second uh, match of the playoffs. So very, very interesting stuff going on. So overall, look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not too fast. Honestly, I'm not too fast. As I said, <laughs> I've only done this video because I saw a lot of people saying that Enzo Mariska, oh, this is, this is, um, this is going to be very tough. This is going to be an extremely tough start. And who knows, maybe you're even going to get sacked after the first matches, uh, first few matches. Um, yeah, and I found that very, very strange. Look, regardless of what the fixtures were going to look like, every single game was going to be very difficult. So for me, look, I'm glad. I'm glad it's Manchester City. Hopefully the complacency is out of the system and we can focus and give it our best shot and start the season with the right mindset. And hopefully we can carry that on uh, for, for matches to come. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts about um, the fixture list. Are you someone who is worried, you know, with the start? Are you someone who is ecstatic, feeling very happy about the December period? Um, are you concerned about how we're ending it? Are you concerned about, you know, the Conference League matches in between all of those fixtures? Let me know your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.